everybody want some me, chocolate? Oh, you got chocolate! Oh, I'm so sorry. Raul, darling, we need names. Yeah. And this is a test. Player one, how about typing in your name for us? I like to Very nice. Now, player two, 45 your seconds. Name now. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, you... okay. 30 seconds. Okay, player one, your buzzer is the letter Q as in quadruped. And player two, you have the letter P as in Pac-Man. He's a Russian piano player, not the game like you're thinking. And that's why they call him the best boy. 20 seconds. Look alive, we're at 20. Alrighty, uh, heads up. Here's how the game works. First one of you to buzz in on a question gets first stab at the answer. So you buzz in and then press one, two, three, or four, depending on which answer you want. Real easy. Got it? Ten seconds. Good luck. Nine. And eight, eight, get rid of the five, desktop. Seven, Mommy. Six. Do Let's go to five. five. Okay, four, we're rolling. Three. Heavenly Critters Pet Cemetery. For those times when your love doesn't fit in a shoebox. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Wow, look at you two trivia warriors. I want a clean fight out there, okay? No hitting below the belt, none of this, none of this, and definitely none of this. Now, well then, here we are. All right, let's get going by passing out the hardware. And here's the deal with these screws. If you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question, but you want to make him answer it anyway, buzz in and hit the S key to screw him. All right, let's do it. Your pick, player two, how about it? For your enjoyment, this question makes wide right turns. You get this one right and it's $3,000. Hey, it's moving day and you're moving to Burma. If you try to rent a trailer from the oo hall you find in the Burma phone book, who might end up helping you with your move? Are you an ambassador, a priest, a martial arts student, or some guy named Hall? Let's take a look at the right answer. In Burma, the word you is used as a salutation of respect before a man's name, so Ooh Hall would be some guy named Hall. After he's done helping you move, you can take him to one of those all ooh can eat places. He'll dig that. Player one, hit me with... The category is, the question is licking itself. Thousand bucks if you get it. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. If Rin Tin Tin made a new movie called Rin Tin Tinnitus, which of the following things would probably happen in the plot? He wouldn't hear his master's command. Player one, tinnitus is a condition in which a constant noise in the sufferer's ears interferes with their normal hearing. Rin Tin Tin, quick! The orphanage is on fire! Go save the children! Rin? Hello? What the hell is wrong with this damn dog? Player one, tell me what's happening. One, two, two, raise the almighty three. The category? Why do you live next to a barn? And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Okay, now I've heard of the name Jan and I've heard of the name Janet, but... Suppose a fun new couple moves in next door and the wife introduces herself as Janet. What would you expect her to say about her husband? I'd like you to meet the bastard sometime. My jackass husband will be over shortly. My husband's a real son of a bitch. Or... My hubby. What a bore. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. <laughs> A Janet is a female donkey, and a jackass is a male donkey, or a beer-swilling neighbor at a cookout. Your turn, player two. You can't stop at three, no, you gotta have four, yeah! 
Let's see what we got going. Micro brews that never quite made it. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Here's a question that combines two of America's favorite pastimes, TV and beer. If you wanted to tour the fictional Schatz Brewery, which city would you have to visit? Boston, Massachusetts, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Boulder, Colorado, or Seattle, Washington? See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. Ah! The fictional Schatz Brewery is located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right around the corner from Laverne and Shirley's. Two really funny women who work at a brewery. How can reality possibly compare to TV? Hmm, I wonder what player two's... Let's blow this time and head for number five. Coming at you, the opening night party must suck. This one can net you a grand. Get this, you've paid hundreds of dollars for tickets to the latest Andrew Lloyd Webber musical, waited months for the opening to arrive. That night you put on your best formal attire and head for the theater. But guess what? When you arrive at the theater, you see a sign out front proclaiming, No theater. All your... No theater, spelled with an H, is a stylized form of Japanese theater. And you know what they say, no theater is good theater. Player one, your choice, what do we... And I believe this one's called, I'll be there with bells on. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Listen up, folks. No, I mean, pay attention here. This is important. Our microphones are on location to record a momentous event in American history. Let her rip, fellas. Oh, jeez, you busted it. Hey, anybody want to go get a cheesesteak? Where am I? London, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Boston. Take a shot. That sound you heard was the Liberty Bell cracking in Philadelphia. Yeah, let me digest that cheesesteak sandwich a bit longer. You'll hear something else crack. Player two, give me something. Seven lucky, lucky seven. And this one is letter 24 plus question mark equals X plus Y. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Hey, remember the movie Stand and Deliver about the math teacher who inspired his unmotivated students? Well, look at what one of the kids carved into their desktop. Mr. Escalante has a fuzzy set. What is this student mocking his math teacher for? His group of letters that represent... Player... All right, player two, you're getting screwed. Screw back. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Player one, you can take it. All yours, player one. Nice. In math, a fuzzy set is a set whose members overlap with other sets. And let me tell you, as a guy who's been there, that can really hurt. Player one, it's up to you. Uh-oh, blah, 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 blah. It's time for a quicker Step right up to your gibberish category. Animal husbandry gone out of control. How about $5,000 to start this gibberish question? Now listen up. Every second and a half, some of the cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to be quick. Okay, get ready to buzz. I want you to tell me what advertising slogan this rhymes with. Pet the geese, love a flock. And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. First clue, it's for an insurance company. It's for an insurance company that's solid as a rock. You know, kind of like your head. Last clue, the Rock of Gibraltar is the logo. Hurry up, don't you want a piece of that cash? If you're looking for insurance, you might want to pet the geese love a flock. Oh. Not only did you not get a piece of the rock, you didn't get a piece of the cash either. Category time. Aloha, question number nine.
This one's called Play Ball. Two thousand dollars says you don't know this one. Ever hear that old joke about the last words of the Star Spangled Banner being Play Ball? Well, hands over your heart and up on your feet. What are the last words of the fourth verse of the Star Spangled Banner? Our futures to pay from cradle to grave, home of the brave or never enslaved. Layer two, grab it. Each verse of the Star Spangled Banner ends with the home of the brave. You can sit down now. Player two, take your You, my friend, better start getting comfortable, cause this one could get steamy. You're joining in on a three-way. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. If you buzz in when the correct member of the three-way is lit up, it's a thousand in the bank. But watch out, if you're wrong, you'll lose a grand every time you're wrong. And be careful, individual answers don't necessarily have anything to do with the three-way as a group. Alright, let's get this party rolling. The category for this little number is... Those are pillows! And the comfy three-way for this one is... Planes, trains, and automobiles. Okay, hand down your buzzer, here's your three-way. Let's see how it turned out. Player one, I wouldn't call you a stallion, but it looks like you were leading the field on this one. Let's see who's leading the game now. Well, seems to me player one is still whipping some tail in this game. You know, as much as I'd like to cuddle, it, it's time to get on with the game, okay? One down, round two to go. Let's get on it. To start off, one screw a piece. Let me pull some out here. What the hell is that? Uh, okay, here you go. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. Player one, and... Don't look now! Don't look now! It's question 11! Here we have existential snack bath. Think you can handle $6,001 bills? Okay, imagine this scenario. Psychiatrist Carl Jung is sitting naked in a bathtub full of chocolate pudding. Which of the following would best illustrate Jung's theory of the collective unconscious? Jung sees the pudding as a symbol of death, Jung experiences a complete loss of identity, Freud walks in holding a spoon, or Jung realizes... Layer 1, hit it! He experiences a total loss of his identity. I am the pudding, the pudding is me. Make your move, Player 2. Layer 2, he realizes his entire life has been a dream and reality can only be comprehended through bizarre dessert fetishes. You wish? Should have picked this. The collective unconscious in Jung's theory is made up of archetypal symbols and images of universal experiences such as death. And it's a little known fact that this idea first occurred to Jung under precisely these circumstances. You have the honors. May I introduce... I'll rent any piece of crap for two dollars. Set up straight, this one's worth six thousand dollars. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Look, honey, it's that great video about the brave Scottish guy in the sport his ancestors invented. What video is this couple renting? Turf on golf, the curling, bobsled Roy, or brave jarts? Take a shot. You're screwed, player one. Interesting choice. Balls in your court, player two. Player two. The Scots invented golf, and derf is a Scottish word for brave or daring. Which leads me to my next question. What is the word for, I'm gonna shoot my television if I have to watch Tim Conway do that dwarf bit one more time? Your pick, player two. Ah! 
shake hands with. Brought to you by... How does $2,000 sound? You know, this product sponsoring is getting a little out of hand, don't you think? Since there has not been a condom named after some part of its history, which group probably would not have an official condom? The Aztecs, the Trojans, the Egyptians, or the Arabians? Layer 2 it So far, there's no condom named for a famous Aztec. So no safe sex for Montezuma. Jeez, no wonder he's out for revenge. Hmm, I wonder what play... Okay, here's the deal. You just chose an impossible question. Oh, good. This should be amusing. Well, what do we have here? Shakespeare and the Rule of Three. Holy cow, looks like this one's gonna be worth 20,000 big ones. Uh, I, I'm gonna be real honest with you. <laughs> you haven't got a chance in hell on this impossible question. And with that, here we go. What is the third word of the third scene of the third act of Shakespeare's The Life and Death of King Richard III? The, Strawberries, Noble, or Ratcliffe? Layer 2, grab it! Noble attempt. Layer 1, what do you say? Layer Okay, either you played this role, or you bothered to pause the game and look it up. Either way, you deserve some cash. Act 3, Scene 3, Word 3 of Richard 3 is Ratcliffe. Now the next time this comes up, you'll know. Let's have a category. Not 14, not 16, you're right in between. Say hello to do-it-yourselfers. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Here comes the fun, kids. Get ready to finish this analogy. Pink Floyd is to Roger Waters as River Dance is to what? Flash Dance, Lord of the Dance, Ireland, or Muddy Waters? Ooh. All your river, muddy water, I get it. Unfortunately, you don't. Player two, it's yours if you want it. Take a shot, player two. Roger Waters left Pink Floyd so he could make his own music, just like Michael Flatley left Riverdance to become Lord of the Dance. <laughs> Too many artistic differences, I guess. No, it's stomp, 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 not stomp, stomp, stompity, stomp, stomp. Oh. Your turn. Oh, I was hoping you were gonna choose that. Okay, player one, scram. Player two, get ready for a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat is... The taste is not of this earth. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I need you to tell me whether it's the name of a candy bar, the name of a celestial object, or both. If you can only find it in the candy aisle of your local convenience store, press one. If you can only find it in the depths of outer space, press 2. Press 3 if it's both. And if you want to skip one, press 4. You get $1,000 for each right answer, and 1000 taken away for each incorrect answer in any that you don't get to. Alright, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Four. Candy bar, celestial object, or both? Milky Way. Mars! Pulsar! Twix! Butterfinger! Last one! Black Hole! That's all she wrote! You got four right and you missed three. Hard to be enthusiastic about that. Let's throw it into your total. Alright, there's a little scrap for you. Let's move on. Player one, gimme category. On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. This one likes to go by, all gamblers must use bidet after shooting craps. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Hey, remember that French guy, Blaise Pascal? You know, he came up with the modern theory of probability. Well, if you go to Vegas to put down money on Pascal's wager, when might you find out if you won or lost? After you beg, after you fornicate, after you retire, or after you die?
Gotta answer it, player two. That's not right, but hey, you could try to use it as a pickup line. Hey, baby, want to find out if Pascal was right? Player one. Player one hit. Pascal's wager is one approach to the question, is there a god? Pascal felt you have little to lose by going to church now and finding out there's no god later. Compared to not going to church and finding out about God during an eternity in hell. The bummer is that unlike casinos, you don't get complimentary cocktails in church. Player one, you're... Pucker up for... A mountain couldn't, but Diana Ross could. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. Because it's not specifically mentioned as a deterrent in the song Ain't No Mountain High Enough, which of these possibly could keep me from you? Death Valley, Mount Everest, the Thames River, or the Mojave Desert? Player one. Diana sings that neither mountains, valleys, or rivers will keep her from you, but she doesn't say anything about deserts. <laughs> See, that's covered in the follow-up hit, Ain't No Desert Dry Enough. Player one. Hit Open wide and get ready for balls, balls, balls. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Oh, man, I need some help here. I can't remember the name of this sports team. Damn. Hey, if, if you can think of it, buzz in and type in the answer, capiche? All right, it's a basketball team. Uh, Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain was on it. You know, they've been all over the world. <clears throat> kind of like Wilt. Oh, yeah, Metal Lark Lemon is another player from the team. Your move, player two. The Harlem Globetrotters are a basketball team. Wilt Chamberlain is an alum, and so is Metal Arc Lemon. All I gotta say about the Harlem Globetrotters, and I'm I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they fixed a few of those games. Player two, give me. This category is known as drinking nine to five. One right answer and six thousand dollars head your way. Let's see how you handle this one. Because its product is least likely to give you a hangover, which company could you drink on the job and not worry about missing work the next day? A vodka importer, a champagne bottler, a whiskey distributor, or a red wine grower? Nobody wants it? Come on, player one, you're ahead. Live a little. Don't be a man. All yours, play. <laughs> Make your move, player. Player. No, red wine gives you some of the worst hangovers of all. Try some tonight. And when you're too sick to go to work tomorrow, tell your boss I said it was okay for you to stay home. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd pick this. Vodka has the least amount of congeners in it, so drink for drink, vodka is the least likely to give you a hangover. So if you work for an importer of vodka, drink up. But I wouldn't let the boss see those crates of tonic water you have under your desk. Player two, take your pick. Time for the attack. When you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. You get it right, you get 2,000 in the bank. Get it wrong, I'm making a withdrawal of 2,000. Just one more thing to remember. Remember the clue. The two words that match have to fit this clue. What are you calling for? Well, operators are standing by.
one you cleaned up, which isn't saying much when you're playing against someone with a personality of waxy build-up. Player two, next time you want to play against player one, remind yourself. You don't know Jack. Great show, everybody. Lovely work as usual. Raul, hon, what's going on now? Gee, with games like that, we'll get this empty scoreboard filled in no time. Hey, if you want to...